So we have our favorite music critic here today, Chuck Arnold, to talk about Beyonce's brand new album, which it's not a country album, it's a Beyonce album. Exactly. That's what everyone is screaming. Exactly. I mean, Beyonce is a genre all into herself, right? Mm -hmm. And um, as you can see, I'm a big, I'm part of the Beehive, got the bee hat on, got the cowgirl shirt on. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is incredible that she's able just to do whatever she wants and she makes it work. And I think there were a lot of people doubting that she could pull this off. But you know what? She does. So Cowboy Carter has 27 tracks yes. on it. Yes, yes. Now I'm understanding though that all 27 are not all songs. Some of them are intros to correct. songs. Correct, correct. And she has some great people doing those Ooh. intros. Yeah, which including we're get into. Dolly Parton. Woo! I mean, that's the ultimate cosign, right? Like, the whole backstory behind Cowboy Carter is that Beyonce did not feel welcomed at an event that she alluded to in an Instagram post. We all think that it was the 2016 CMAs where she sang Daddy's Lessons with the Chicks. It's rumored that Alan Jackson walked out, like this is not country. So to have the ultimate symbol of country, Dolly Parton, mm -hmm. co-signing on this album is everything. And also, we can't forget, Miley is on it. Yeah, Dolly's, yeah. You know, well, and Dolly's yes, goddaughter. goddaughter. So mm -hmm. there's a connection, right? And yep. you know what? This is all planned. You know, Beyonce makes no mistakes. Absolutely. It was all to show. Here I am. This is like the first family of country. All y'all who didn't think I could do it, look who believed in me. And Willie Nelson is on another interlude. I mean, these are legends of the game. And Post Malone. Post Malone is there. And I thought when I saw that, I was like, this is not going to work. <laughs> but it does. Somehow it does. It and does. like, it guess it just shows you that when you think that something is impossible with Beyonce, think again. Because yeah. it is possible. I do love, I really love the Miley Cyrus duet. That to me is the duet that I didn't know that we needed in life. What's what's the standout about that song for you? Yeah, I mean like, well, the song's called Two Most Wanted, so they're, you know, kind of outlaws, you know, but they got each other's back. Their voices blend so perfectly. I like I would have never imagined they would wow. sound good together, but they would the harmonies are oof, on point. Now, how many times have you listened to the album so far? Cuz I know that you'll listen a couple yeah. of times before you start to, you know, critique. Mhm. Mm and I know it's a pretty long album. It's a very long album. If there was one criticism I would have of the album, I think it's too long. Oh, okay. I think that um, it would have been much better 15, 20 minutes shorter. Mm -hmm. um, that would have still been 60 minutes, 65 right. minutes. That's still long. Right. <laughs> when you think about it, I mean, Ariana Grande's new album is 35 minutes. Oh, wow. So, yeah. like, just to put it into perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, I think it veers a little bit to away from where it starts at the end. Mm -hmm. But that's just because she's so ambitious and you can't falter for that because you get all the great stuff and every now and then there's a misfire. And speaking of great, she also yeah. featured her daughter, not Blue Ivy. Yeah, not Blue Ivy. yeah, <laughs> no, this is Rumi's Rumi, turn. Yes. And, and you know what, it's so cute, it's just adorable. It's at the beginning of this song called Protector. Um, clearly, you know, as a mother, protecting her children. I feel like there's this whole feeling of family and legacy throughout this album, right? Right now, I think Beyonce is at a point in her career where she is thinking about her place in the history of music, particularly with black artists, mm -hmm. and what she wants to leave behind for generations to come. And so there's like this extended family as well as her own personal family. Then you kind of hear that like kind of breathing through the album. And there's Linda Martell is on the album. Mm -hmm. She was the first African-American woman to ever perform at the Grand Ole Opry in 1969. Right. And you know what? I didn't know about her. As a longtime music critic, I didn't know her name. I didn't know that that was her legacy. Beyonce schooled us, schooled me, wow. you know, on that. So that just goes to show you where her head is at, trying to have a larger impact than just being here and now, thinking about the past and thinking about the future and where her place is and all of that. Now, 
let's talk your top three songs from the album. Ooh. And we have to take away the the standouts, which Texas Hold'em obviously okay. is a standout. Okay. Sixteen Carriages is a standout because that's already been aired. Okay. You know, on radio. So let's talk about okay some that. new songs that may be, I don't know, branching out into radio soon. Okay. Well I definitely would say Two Most Wanted, the Mali Star song. I mean, that is deserves to be a hit. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, when you hear it, the first thing you go is, oh my God, they sound so good together. Like, it almost sounds like they were just meant to sing together, almost in the way that Destiny's Child, you know, Would you say it sounds more pop-ish? Uh, no, I mean, or I would say it's a country song. Okay. Yeah, but I, it still does, it has this just kind of natural feel. You would think they've been singing together all Forever. their lives. Wow. And like, they are on the same label, so perhaps that was part of the connection, but I think it's more about Dolly. Okay. Being, you know, the connection with Dolly. Okay. So I'd put that there. Um, ooh, I mean, there's a song called Bodyguard. Mm -hmm. um, that to me is kind of more of a pop, uh, breezy pop kind of song for the spring. Um, almost reminds me of like a Sheryl Crow or Casey Musgraves. Oh, okay. Um, but just that just goes to show you, I mean, it's a seamless mix of country, pop, and a little bit of rock. And Beyonce slays it. I mean, it's just, it sounds as if she's been doing that all of her life. Do we expect anything less from her? I, exactly. Come on. Exactly. You know she's not going to do a bad country album and like not. have everybody go, like, no. <laughs> uh, and then I, the last one I would say is the cover of Blackbird. Um, amazing Beatles song. Mm -hmm. And um, a Beatles classic we've heard so many times. But you hear it differently. First of all, you hear a black woman singing it. Mm -hmm. There's no, you know, again. That's not a coincidence that that's the second song on the album. Right. And Blackbird, she's singing that with four black women who sing country music backing her up. So Beyonce is like telling you what her mission is, to letting you know that we got all these black women who are singing country music. And, um, and it's a beautiful embracing of that. I mean, the banjo came from Africa. Beyonce knows this, like this is where country music started. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's kind of taking it back, reclaiming it. Yeah. So do we think that Cowboy Carter has what it takes to debut at number one? Oh yeah, it's just a matter of how long it's gonna stay at number one. I was one. gonna say. It will debut at number one for sure. How long, um, do, how long do you predict it to stay on the charts for at hmm, number one? I mean, probably until Taylor Swift's album comes out in a few weeks. <laughs> 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 so you got until April 19th, Beyonce. But I mean, I think, you know, Ariana Grande, she's had the biggest debut of this year. Um, I don't know if this will top that because okay. you still have to remember that uh, Ariana Grande is a much younger artist. Um, there are going to be people that still just don't feel Beyonce doing country music. Um, so, but number one, at least for the next two weeks, probably the next three weeks. Oh my goodness. So. Well, Chuck Arnold, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, anytime. And of course, Yeehaw. we want to hear from you. We <laughs> want to know what songs on the album stand out to you. So let us know in the comments.